I'm Annie Schwartz in the Milwaukee Police Department, and I'm here to tell you about Milwaukee's 10 Most Wanted for the month of March 2010. Now, normally we feature 10 Most Wanted. This month, we have 8 Most Wanted because right as we were preparing to put the show on the air, two of our Most Wanted were captured. Robert D. Edwards is wanted on a violation of probation. In 2000, Robert Edwards was charged with a violent crime, recently was identified as being involved in additional crimes in the city of Milwaukee. Wisconsin Department of Corrections has in entered a warrant for his arrest. Johnny E. Walker is wanted for sexual assault of a child. In January of 2010, a young child had visited the home of Walker. Once inside, R Walker refused to let the child leave. While struggling to get out, Walker threw the child down and forced sexual contact. The child was able to seize on an opportunity and escaped. Willie Reeves is wanted for first degree recklessly endangering safety. On August 31, 2009, Willie Reeves went to a residence in the 3300 block of North 47th Street. While he was there, got in an argument with someone he knew and then left the area. A short time later, he came back and approached a relative of the person that he had previously argued with. When the relative greeted him, Willie Reeves, who was armed with a gun, shot him once. DeAndre Lockhart is wanted for sexual assault of a child. From 2008 through 2009, DeAndre Lockhart had sexual contact with a child who he was significantly older than. As a result, this child developed a serious medical condition. Carnell Jackson is wanted for sexual assault of a child. In the summer 2009, Carnell Jackson went to the home of a family that he knew, and while he was there, he saw a young child was in her bedroom alone. He went inside of the room and forced sexual contact. That child later was found to have health issues as a result of the attack. Shanice Collins is wanted for recklessly endangering safety and for robbery. On December 12, 2009, Shanice Collins went to the residence of a family that she knows, and when they let her in, she entered with another person who was armed with a gun. She then announced a robbery and demanded valuables. When one of the intended victims started to run away, the armed suspect shot the victim. Collins and the armed suspect then ran away from the home. Vidal Rodriguez Alvarez is wanted for first-degree reckless homicide. On September 5, 2008, at about 3.45 p.m., while seated in a car in front of South Division High School, the victim and another individual, who are C-14 gang members, became involved in an argument with rival gang members in another vehicle. Both vehicles left the area, subsequently meeting in the 1900 block of South 13th Street, where a second argument occurred. That's when Vidal Rodriguez Alvarez approached the victim's vehicle on foot and then threw a screwdriver at the victim's auto. It entered the open driver's window and impaled into the victim's temple, causing her death. Wanted for first-degree intentional homicide, two counts, and attempted first-degree intentional homicide, three counts, is Octaviano Juarez Coro. Now, he's been on our list for some time. This is a shooting that occurred at South Shore Park on Monday, May 29, 2006. Suspect saw his wife, from whom he was separated at the time, with her current boyfriend and all kinds of other friends and family, he became involved in an argument with his estranged wife, demanded to see his daughter. Others attempted to intervene, try to calm the situation down, but that's when Coro produced a gun and fired numerous shots, striking his wife's current boyfriend numerous times and killing him. Well, there you have it. Eight dangerous criminals that we're trying to get off the streets here in the city of Milwaukee. If you have any information, please go to the Milwaukee Police Department's website where you can give us an anonymous tip or call us at 414-935-7360. Help us keep the streets of Milwaukee safe and help us be a force.